Okay, in this video, we're going to look at how to graph rational functions by hand using intercepts and asymptotes. So in our first example, we have the function f of x equals 3x minus 12 divided by x squared plus 2x minus 8. I'm just going to go ahead and factor the numerator and denominator completely. It's just going to help us find our intercepts and our vertical asymptotes as well as the behavior. So taking a look at our x-intercept, we know that the x-intercept occurs when our function f of x is equal to 0. And since this is a rational function, that means that it, the entire function can only be 0 when the numerator is 0. So we'll go ahead and set the numerator equal to 0, which means that x minus 4 will, be, or will have to be 0, and x will be 4. So that gives us an x-intercept of 4, 0. We can go ahead and plot that on our graph here. Now to find the y-intercept, this means we're finding f of 0. You could also think of that as plugging in 0 for x. You can use either the original function or the factored form. I'm going to use the original function. And everywhere I see x, I'm going to put in a 0. And then once I simplify, I'll get my constants, negative 12 over negative 8, which simplifies to positive 3 over 2. So my y-intercept is 0, 3 halves. I'll also go ahead and plot that on my graph. 3 halves is 1 and a half. And now we'll find our vertical asymptote. Vertical asymptotes occur when the function is undefined. So we're setting the denominator equal to 0. I'm going to use the factored form of my denominator. Set that equal to 0 and find out what x values make that true. So that means that x will either be 2 or negative 4. And these are my vertical asymptotes. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw our vertical asymptotes on our graph. We're going to use vertic um, dashed vertical lines because these are not parts of our function, but just guides to help us to see where our function is turning. So our first one is at x equals 2. So we'll go ahead and draw a dashed line at x equals 2. And the next one, x equals negative 4. We'll go ahead and draw another dashed vertical line at x equals negative 4. And then we'll move on and find our horizontal asymptotes, or asymptote in this case. So our horizontal asymptote means we need to look at the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator of our function. Here the degree of our numerator is 1. The degree of the denominator is 2, which means that the degree of the numerator is less than the, the degree of the denominator. In this case, we get a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. That's always the case when the degree of the numerator is smaller than the degree of the denominator. So this is our x-axis. I'm going to just draw a dashed line along the x-axis so that reminds me that I have a horizontal asymptote there. And that determines what happens to our function as x goes to positive infinity and to negative infinity. All right, so before we can get our good picture, we have to look at the behavior near the vertical asymptotes. So we want to look at what happens as we approach a negative 4 from the left, as we approach negative 4 from the right, as we approach 2 from the left, and as we approach 2 from the right. So again, that's what we're writing here, negative 4 from the left, negative 4 from the right, 2 from the left, 2 from the right. Alright, so we're going to look at uh, the signs, positive, negative, of our factors when we're on either side of our asymptotes. So as we approach negative 4 from the left, we're negative, we're close to negative 4, but a little bit more negative. So think negative 
If I plug that in here, in the numerator I'm going to get a negative. A negative minus 4 is negative. Here, a negative minus 2 is negative. In this factor, if I have something like a negative 4.1 and then I add positive 4 to it, I'm not going to have enough to make it a positive, so that will be negative as well. I have three negatives, that's an odd number of negatives, that means overall the function will be negative, we're going to negative infinity. Now as we approach negative 4 from the right, I'm still negative, so negative minus 4 is negative, and negative minus 2 is negative. Think negative 4, uh, negative 3.9, so we're from the right, so that's going to actually become positive with this positive 4. I have an even number of negative signs, which means overall the function is positive and headed towards positive infinity. Now jumping over to my next asymptote, approaching 2 from the left. If I plug in a 2 in this factor up top, 2 minus 4 is, well not 2, but something a little bit uh, smaller than 2 but positive. This will be a negative value, so I have a negative here. If we think of uh, something in this region like a positive 1.9 and we subtract 2, we're going to get a negative. And if we add a positive plus 4, we get a positive. We have two negative signs, it's even, so we get positive results. Now approaching 2 from the right hand side, once again, I'm thinking of something like 2.1. If I plug that in here, it's not going to be enough to make this positive, so it's negative up top. If I plug in like a 2.1 here, it's going to be just enough to make it positive, and here a positive plus a positive is positive. So uh, one negative sign means overall I have a negative. So this function is going towards negative infinity as we approach 2 from the right. Alright, so now we can put this together in our graph. So as we said, as we approach uh, negative 4 from the left, our function is negative, so it's going towards negative infinity. As x goes to negative infinity, our function, remember, approaches this horizontal asymptote, so that's why it's skimming along here. It's never actually going to make it there. Remember, there's no x-intercept out in this direction. So now as x approaches negative 4 from the right, we have a positive result. So as we go to negative 4 from the right, our function is going to positive infinity. But we have to hit this y-intercept. And as our graph approaches a, negative, a positive 2 from the left, we also go to positive infinity. So this is going to turn around and go back up to positive infinity. As we approach 2 from the right, we're going to negative infinity, so this function is going to shoot downward along the side of the asymptote. It's got to hit the x-intercept here, but as x goes to positive infinity, this is going to skim along the uh, x-axis because of that horizontal asymptote. So this is a pretty decent sketch of our function. Um, in order to get more accurate uh, values, we would have to maybe plot uh, some points or evaluate our function at maybe negative 2 to see what that actually is. But we have a pretty good idea of the values of our function just by looking at these pieces of information.